closure of orbit under the central force. And in the syllabus, you have the same topic as conditions for closed orbits or Bertner's theorem. It is a very important one. Uh, now let us go through this uh, topic. Already we have discussed when the particle is moving under the central force. So what will happen when the particle is moving under the central force? What, what about the total energy of the system? Total energy E is conserved when a particle is moving under the central force. So the equation is given as E equals to half m r dot square plus half j square by m r square plus V of r. So this is the equation for the total energy is conserved when a particle is moving under the action of central force. So this energy integral can be reduced to one dimensional motion in R if an effective potential is defined as this one. So here V of R which is the effective potential. So V of R equals to V of R plus half J square by M R square. So this is the energy integral. It is reduced when uh, to the one dimensional motion in R if the effective potential is defined like this. So this is the effective potential. So uh, here if you observe effective potential VE of R equals to V of R plus half J square by M R square. So already we have seen here. So we can replace here this one with V of R. So energy becomes half M R dot square plus V of R. So we are replacing the, the, the term, the whole term with V e of R. So this, uh, if you see this equation, so here half m R dot square, it is a radial kinetic energy and uh, V e of R, which is the effective potential energy for the radial motion in V e of R. So V e of R, it is composed of two parts. First one, it is V of R. Second one, V C F of R. Here V of R, it is the actual potential energy and VCF of R, it is the centrifugal energy for the radial motion. So VCF R equals to half J square by M R square. And already we have an, we know that we have an idea J equals to M R square theta dot. But here we have J square. That means M square R per 4 into theta dot square. So just we are replacing J with M R square theta dot. And simplifying, we will obtain half M R square theta dot square. So which is the centrifugal energy for the radial motion. And already we have an idea. So when the force acting on the particle, it is composed of central force and centrifugal force. So here MR double dot, which is the central force and MR theta dot square, which is the centrifugal force. So when the force is acting on the particle, so it is composed of central force as well as centrifugal force. Now, let us consider this uh, picture and here this represents effective potential for the gravitation force V of R equals to minus K by R. So here effective potential, it is sum of the opposing centrifugal potential energy with the potential energy of a dynamical system and it may be used to determine the orbits of the planets. So this effective potential, so it is uh, to, we can define the determine the orbits of the planets also and now let us uh, see here this is the origin and negative below this one negative axis and pulse to uh, and here potential along this direction and here we can observe centrifugal force effective force and here this is the uh, uh, actual force or we can say gravitational force suppose let us consider here the central force is attractive let us consider the central force is attractive so uh, if you see the attractive force we can we have an example gravitation force so here uh, we are considering central force is attractive so for example if you consider the gravitation force or actual force here v of r equals to uh, which is negative so if you see below this axis so gravitation force it is negative or v of r equals to minus k by r which is negative and varying as minus 1 by r and we can see here it is. So centrifugal potential energy and this is the centrifugal potential energy VCF of R. It increases as 1 by R square as R tends to 0. So here centrifugal potential energy it increases as 1 by R square for R tends to 0. But gravitation force it is negative and here we can see 
uh, it is varying as minus 1 by r. And the resultant force finally, this is the effective force VE of r. This can have a minimum with a finite negative value and which allows a range of bounded orbits. That means we can see the bounded orbits are uh, here for this effective force. So, and the motion is uh, we, which we can see here, it is bounded in R. Motion is called bounded in R. Uh, if R dot vanishes at the extremum values, extreme values, that means what are the extreme values we have? R is maximum and R is minimum. Those are the extreme values. So, if R equals to R maximum and R equals to R minimum, for a bounded motion, both of these bounds must exist. So, that's for R equals to R maximum, R, R equals to R minimum. We can uh, see the equation. Uh, let us see. So, we have the equation. Uh, this one, E equals to half m R dot square plus V of R. So, if uh, here uh, at the bounded uh, extremum values, uh, if it is bounded, R dot vanishes. Bound, if it is bounded in R, the motion is bounded uh, in R, R dot vanishes. So from this equation, so this becomes 0. So E equals to V of R. And we can see, R we can write E minus V of R equals to half M R dot squared. So uh, we can write like that. So here, uh, if uh, for the bounded uh, motion, uh, so, so here a motion is called bounded in R, we have R dot vanishes, so e equals to V of R. And also we can write E minus V of R equals to half M R dot square, which is greater than or equals to zero for all the R. Therefore, for any possible radiation motion, we have E greater than V of R. Or we can see in other words, some part of the V of R curve must lie between the curve V of R equals to E for any radial motion. So part of the particle moving under central force is called an orbit. Here we are defining the orbit. If the part of a particle moving under the central force is nothing but orbit. So condition for the stable in the radial motion, which is given as T V by dr equals to 0 and d square V by dr square greater than 0 at r equals to r naught. So this is the stability condition. So here, uh, if the particle is moving under the central force, which is called orbit, so condition for the stability in this radial motion, which is dVe by dr equals to 0, or d square Ve by dr square greater than 0 at r equals to r naught. So these are the condition for stability of the in the radial motion. So potential energy of the function for the central force is of the form V of R equals to A R power, R power N plus 1. So here A is constant. If you consider uh, for the central force, the potential energy can be written as A into R power N plus 1, where A is constant. And centrifugal energy, VCF of R equals to BR power minus 2, where B greater than 0, B also constant here. So that means the effective potential can be written as this one central, central force plus the centrifugal energy. So we are writing a, R, a into r power n plus 1 plus b into r power minus 2. So this is the effective potential. So condition for the stability in the radial motion can be written as. So this is the E of r. So uh, for, by taking this derivative, which is equal to 0. So this is the condition for stability, stability in the radial motion. So d, dVe by dr equals to 0. Uh, and we, if you take the derivative for this one, so we will obtain n plus 1 into a, a into r power n minus 2b r power minus 3 at r equals to r naught. And if uh, dve by dr equals to 0 means this one also becomes 0. That means n plus 1 a r power n minus 2b r power minus 3 equals to 0 r n plus 1 into a power a into r power n equals to 2b r power minus 3. So this is if the condition for stability in the radial motion dve by dr equals 0 means so this one equals to this one so this is dve by dr therefore d square ve by dr square can be written as by taking the derivative for this one we will obtain 2 b r naught power minus 4 into n plus 3 at r equals to r naught so why we are obtaining here means uh, here we can see 
a is constant, b is constant, and r also constant at r equals to r naught. So here only we have the variable n. n is variable we have. Okay, here n is variable. So thus for any circular orbit, r equals to r naught under the central force is stable if n plus 3 greater than 0 or n greater than minus 3. So and the form of central force is f of r equals to minus 2v by dou r which is equals to so we have v, v of r uh, v equals to this one. So central force f of r equals to dou v by dou r that means by taking this one derivative we will obtain minus n plus 1 a into r for n or we can write uh, n plus 1 into a is constant k f of r equals to minus k into r power n. So further an orbit is said to be closed if the particle retraces its path. So here we can uh, if the particle retraces if it goes back then only we can uh, if it trace the its path then the orbit is said to be closed. So here the stable and closed orbits that means we have either it may be circular and non-circular. So these are the stable and closed orbits and possible for n equals to 1 and n equals to minus 2. So corresponding force laws are follows. So for n equals to 1 it is Hooke's law, n equals to minus 2 it is inverse square law. So here these are the force f of r equals to minus k r, f of r equals to minus k by r square. The condition for the bounded motion is uh, that there is bounded region of r in which total energy. So here for the bounded region of r, total energy should be greater than effective potential energy, E greater than r equals to V of r. So this is for bounded motion, bounded region of r, the total energy should be greater than or equals to the effective potential energy. And for n greater than minus 3, condition for the stability of circular orbit with the force law f of r equals to minus k into r power n. So uh, for n equals to minus 2 and uh, the orbits are closed only for the inverse square law of the Columbian or the Newtonian type and for n equals to 1. So the linear, uh, this is the linear law of force of the Hooke's type and these are the conditions. When energy, total energy is greater than or equals to effective potential, it is bounded and for the condition for circular orbit, n should be greater than minus 3. And for n equals to minus 2, it is closed for the inverse square law of force. And orbits are closed here for n equals to 1. So linear law of force we can see. And these are the stability, uh, these are the conditions for the bounded motion. Uh, and already uh, first we have seen the equation uh, once we And if you observe here, E equals to half m r dot square plus V of r. So from this one, r dot can be calculated. Uh, that is uh, here we will obtain. So here r dot equals to root of 2 by m E minus V of r minus J square by 2m into r square. Now r dot, actually we can find out uh, r dot uh, uh, dr by dt or if we multiply and divide with d, d theta dr by d theta into d theta by dt or th d theta by dt t, d theta by dt is theta dot so dr by d theta into theta dot which is equals to dr by d theta where theta dot is nothing but j by m r square or dr by d theta equals to we are sending cross multiplication m r square by j into r dot or dr by d theta equals to m r square by j into r dot already just now we have uh, got r dot just we are uh, replace r dot with this equation and solve by solving we will obtain this one dr by d theta equals to root of 2 m r power 4 by j square into e minus v of r minus r square or d theta can be obtained cross multiplication dr by root of 2 m r power 4 by j square into e minus v of r minus r square so its solution can be given as theta equals to theta naught plus integration r naught into r, r naught to r dr by r square into root of 2m by j square into e minus v of r minus 1 by r square or theta equals to theta dot minus integration u, u naught to u du by root of 2m by j square e minus v into 1 by u minus u square. Here this is because of we have 
u equals to 1 by r by replacing with u equals to 1 by r we are obtaining this one so if e j and the form of the central force potential v of r are given orbit c is orbit is fixed and u naught and theta naught if you see u naught and theta naught these refer to the starting point on the orbit so for v of r equals to a into r power n plus 1 above integral can be directly integrated for n equals to the values 1 minus 2 minus 3 for values n equals to 5 3 0 minus 4 minus 5 and 7 results can be obtained in terms of elliptical orbits so these uh, so uh, by using 1 minus 2 minus 3 we will obtain directly the integral can be obtained the, uh, directly but for these values uh, we will obtain in terms of elliptical integrals. So equation of the orbit, it is not obtainable in the closed form for other values of n. So only for these values, we will obtain in the closed form. But if we consider any other values for n, we cannot obtain in the closed form. Thank you, children.